Hey guys and welcome back. This is Mike Krumis at MH Tutorials and today I want to explain to you guys the phenomenon depth of field that you can use in Maya. Now I set up a really basic scene here. I just created a ground plane, a cube, a uh, whatever that thing is called, uh, a cone of course, and uh, this cylinder here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a camera and we're going to focus on this object in the middle here, the blue one, and we're going to blur this one, right? You see that effect in movies a lot, you know, where you got the background is a bit blurry and the object in front, but you can actually, um, you know, just adjust the camera in a way that this will show up really sharp, okay? So I'm not going to go into how to set up this here, that's pretty basic. I set up a daylight, you know, and I uh, just pointed that, nothing special there. If you've got any questions on how to do that, let me know. But for now, we're going to go and create our camera. So we're going to go up to create. We're going to go to cameras and select camera like that. I'm going to hit W to pull that up a little bit. Pull it back out. And we're just going to look through the camera quickly to see if we got our objects in sight. Okay. So we're going to go to the panel, panels, perspective, camera one. Uh, sorry, I still got another camera going on apparently camera two. There we go. So all three are uh, in, in place. Cool. Now, as I, as I said, we're going to focus on this object here and we're going to blur out the others. All right. Now, in order to do that, we need to know the exact distance between the camera and the object because we need to set our, uh, our depth of field uh, focal point for that. So we're going to measure that. So I'm going to go back to my top view right here. I'm going to go up to create going to go down to uh, measure tools and hit distance tool. I'm going to click on my camera and I'm going to click on my blue object. Okay. Now it says that it's 16.15 centimeters. All right, cool. We're going to hit Q on a keyboard. We're going to select our camera, select in, scroll down here, depth of field. We're going to select depth of field and the focal distance, we're going to put that on 16.15 centimeters. All right, like that. Now we're going to go back to our viewpoint. So panels, perspective, in my case, camera two, but in your case, probably camera one, like that. And we're going to do a quick render. I'll just uh, give that a second. Wait until it's done. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. I'll just pause for a sec, guys. You guys don't have to wait for that. Well, guys, I'm back. Well, as you can see, the render is complete. Um, it's a bit too much light in the scene. Apologize for that. I got really reflective material going on. But the point that I wanted to illustrate is that if you look at the red object here, you can see that the edges of this object, they're really blurred out like that. Okay. My blue object is crystal clear, very focused. And back here, my green object, again, you can see that the edges here are blurred out. Okay. Now, um, this is something that is really effective when you're setting up a scene, especially in animation. Um, and again, apologize for this uh, blown out image, but hopefully you understand the principle. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.